Hey guys, so here is a random 10 cards one, not kit, but collection. I had purchased stuff from Jamie's shop at the Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, when, the cre cough, when the Cream and Sugar collection came out by Doodlebug, it just was so cute. This was also um, a part of, some of the elements were a part of the Simon Says Stamp Kit for February. So I'm just showing you, like on the left, that's left over from the Simon Says Stamp Kit. But I'm showing you some other elements that I had purchased separately from Jamie's shop. Um, and here are my card bases. And so, like usual, uh, as far as the past couple videos, I have all my supplies prepared and then you will just see me put them together. Um, my card bases are a little bit smaller. I have card bases from Hobby Lobby that I purchased that come with the card base and an envelope. So my card bases measure um, five and a half by four. So they're a little bit smaller than A2 size. Um, and these little die cuts are so cute. I will link, if Jamie still has some elements of the collection available, I will link it below. Last time I was at her shop, I don't think she did. I know she sold out of this very quickly. Um, so I don't know if she has or will be restocking. So um, I'll link what I can below, but you may have to go search it out and see where you can find these elements of the collection. Um, I'll try to find them on Simon Says Stamp or something to see but anyway this is card one and um, the die cut pieces they come in a pack of 103 so you get a ton of little cute images and then all my sentiments came from the cream and sugar paper pack so on all these 10 cards I didn't use one stamp which I think is pretty cool This is my first time getting a, like a lot of the collection from Doodlebug, um, but with the coffee themes and all that, I just couldn't resist it. <laughs> so I, this is something, this 10 cards, one collection won't be something I'll do consistently, but um, if Doodlebug, which is my, one of my favorite companies, if they release the collection I really like, and I do get a lot of the elements from the collection, I'll definitely do this again, but um, you know, it'll just be a little sporadic. But instead of having all this stuff sit in a drawer where I don't use it, I thought I would go ahead and show you how to make 10 cards without using a single stamp. So here for card two, I'm taking my card panel. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to my card base. I have a little doily that I go ahead and adhere. That is a Nouveau glint, uh, glue pen I purchased from the Love From Lizzie shop. It's really cool. I like it on um, smaller things. It's not as, even though it's a liquid glue, it doesn't come out as fast as like Tombow Mono or something like that. You have a little bit more control over it. So I go ahead and hear my doily with my scallop circle and my regular circle, which those die cuts are Stampin' Up! die cuts, which I will link below. I'm addicted to those. If you've watched any of my videos, I frequently use them a lot. I just love how the scalloped and the circles come together in a set and they work perfectly together. So I go ahead and adhere my little sentiment, hey cutie. And then my little sugar cubes using some foam tape and then these little I thought I used the enamel dots. I'm taking my Spectrum Noir Clear Glitter Pen to glitter up the hearts, and then I use my glossy accents to give them some dimension. And that's it for card two. For card three, I had Michelle, one of my viewers here on YouTube, she purchased some corrugated cardstock and sent me some, which was incredibly kind. It really made my week when I got that in the mail. So it was a really nice surprise because, as you know, a lot of us didn't receive the corrugated sheet um, from the Simon Says Stamp Kit. So this was, and it has an adhesive back. So I went ahead and cut it to fit my card base and go ahead and adhere that down. And then I take my little 
die cuts and place them kind of where I think I want them. And then here I am fiddling with the sentiment, but I actually, I totally messed that up and have to choose a different sentiment. But um, I cut that out of the video. Go ahead and pop up my little coffees. And they look so cute against that corrugated background. Go ahead and hear them down. Add my little coffee beans. And then, like I said, you see the love you sentiment down there and it still was getting lost in the background. So that's the reason why I had to redo it. It just, it wasn't sticking out as much as I'd liked. So I think here is my new sentiment I chose, which I don't even remember what it says. Hello, maybe? I don't even know. No, it doesn't say hello. A couple of? I don't know. So go ahead and hear a few of the hearts. And I have a ton of supplies left over to probably make, I could probably make 10 more cards with the paper pack that I have and the die cuts. So for card four, taking my card base and I trim a piece off the top fold. And then I take some of the sprinkles washi tape. It matches the donuts perfectly, the sprinkles on top of the donuts. And then originally I was going to use the donut pattern paper, but it just didn't look right. So by happy accident, the other side of that donut paper is actually the sprinkles from the washi tape. So I ended up using that, which I think turned out a lot better. So before I hear that paper down, I go ahead and... Um, put my donuts on the card base to make sure they have enough room. And then just add some foam tape and then trim that off. And this big roll of foam tape, I get asked about it a lot. It is called the Big Mama Foam Tape from Simon Says Stamp. Um, I like it because it's not as thick as other foam tape and the roll has lasted me forever. What I don't like about it is that the backing is a pain in the butt to get off. A lot of the times you won't ever see in a video me struggling with the backing of that foam tape. I despise that about the foam tape. It's very frustrating. So if that doesn't bother you kind of struggling getting the backing off the foam tape, I highly recommend the foam tape. But because it aggravates me so much, I, I won't be buying it again. I'll just stick to the 3M. But, you know, we all have our different aggravations, so I recommend it in the fact that I think it's a good deal. But if you get bugged by little things like that, like I tend to, definitely stay away. Go and add some sparkle to my donuts after I added some of those matte enamel dots, and that's it for card four. For card five, I'm going to go ahead and hear this cute little coffee pattern paper to my card base, and I'm using a craft card base. And what I do when I'm unsure where I want to put stickers is I cut each of them out. That way I can place them where I think I want them without um, it hearing them down. So that's kind of what I did here. I go ahead and uh, put some foam tape on my sentiment. And then actually I had turned off the camera to do some die cutting and I'd never turned it back on. So in a second here you'll see a completed card, but I... Um, showed it in the camera quite quite a bit so you could see exactly what I did. So I took some of that corrugated cardboard, used a die cut to cut it out, and it cut beautifully. And then I put that behind my little coffee character and added a few of the beans and then my sentiment and a heart. So sorry about that. I go to look up to see if I was in frame and it wasn't even recording. So it's very frustrating when that happens. <laughs> 
So here I'm taking my piece of pattern paper that I, here it's my card base and it says XOXO. I don't think you can really see it in the video, um, but I thought that went perfect with the hugs and kisses sentiment that was in the die cut collection. And then of course I chose to use the Hershey kisses from the die cut collection and I go ahead and hear that down. And then it, here are my little hearts. And that completes card six. For card seven, I am taking the tea time sentiment and the tea time or the tea stickers. Go ahead and adhere my pattern paper to my card base and take my doily and cut it in half. I think doilies and tea go perfect together. <laughs> and I take that um, doily and adhere it to the center and then adhere tea time to the top where it is cut off. And I use the glue pen. You see a little bit of rippling, but once it dries, you can't notice. Um, since the glue pen isn't as wet as the wet glue, um, I thought it would be best for the delicate doily. Go ahead and adhere my little teacups and then the other little, it's a tea bag and then two little sugar cubes. And go ahead and ahead and add a few of the matte enamel dots. The matte enamel dots are interesting than the because usually, well, not usually, the only enamel dots I ever had were the shiny ones. So I do like the matte ones, it's very different. So for card eight, I'm taking my card pattern paper that I chose, adhere that to my card base. Then I have these little coffee mugs and it popping them up with some foam tape. And then there are these little like Scrabble pieces that came in the die cut kit and it says, I love hot cocoa. So I thought these would be perfect because these little mugs can pass for cocoa or coffee. Um, the little macaroon cookies I end up not using. I just couldn't place them in a way where I liked the way they looked. So I go ahead and pop up each one of my little tiles and go ahead and spell out I love hot cocoa. Still trying to make them work, but it just it didn't I didn't like the way it looked. <laughs> so settled for the heart. Thought that looked more balanced. Go ahead and adhere my little cocoa cups, and then I adhere my heart. I add, I think I add some Spectrum Noir clear glitter pen to the heart. Here I'm taking my, I just got it, um, it's a jelly roll pen, it's black, it's glaze, but it gives, um, it's different in the sense that it gives whatever you mark with, so the eyes I just did, it gives it dimension. Not only darkens the eyes, but gives it dimension, which is really cool. So for card nine, I took my scalloped die and cut the card base and I also cut the card panel and popped it up on some foam tape just to give it a little interest. Take this washi tape that I've been dying to use and kind of stick it on the bottom of the card base just so it's peeking out of the card. And then I uh, die cut a couple of the pattern papers with my scallop die and circle die. Go ahead and hear my sentiment down. I think this one says hello. Yes. 
with some fun foam or foam tape. And then I choose two of the stickers. And like I said, this sticker pack I'm using is left over from what came in the Sinuses stamp kit. But I did purchase a separate one. If you hear that slurping, that's my cat drinking water. <laughs> this mic I have picks up everything. I think in one video I heard my stomach growling. <laughs> so sorry for the weird noises if you happen to hear them like the motorcycle driving by right now. So I'm sure that's a lovely noise. Go ahead and hear my little scallop down, scallop circle down with my stickers and go ahead and adhere these two hearts. I kind of kept adding and adding and adding to this card, but I like it. Add some glitter to my little hearts. I do add some glossy accents to the smaller heart on the left, so it kind of goes with the shininess of the stickers. And then I add some of, oh yeah I do, I add some of the enamel dots to my card. And then for card 10, I they have these little pennants in the die cut. so. I took out some yellow twine and I go ahead and thread the twine through the pinnets. And I've already put foam tape on my card panel. And I've peeled back a couple pieces of the backing so I could hear my twine to the back, which you'll see me do here. I love this polka dot pattern paper. It's really fun. And what's nice is that this paper could be used for a birthday. It doesn't have to necessarily be used for a coffee themed card. So then I just pop the twine on the sticky part of the foam tape and then I close my foam tape back up so I can kind of work with my card a little bit more. I'm not ready to take all the backing off of it. And I go ahead and add a little foam square behind each of the pennants so they're raised but also stay in position. And then I go ahead and tear off the backing of the foam tape and adhere that to my card base. And these little picture frames came in the die cut collection too. And I go ahead and take a little square image from the pattern paper. It says, you are my cup of tea. And adhere that to the back as if it was a photograph. And then pop that up with some foam tape. And then looking at that, the tea bag looks really, really cute, but I did not add it. I do go ahead and add some hearts, though. One in yellow, one in green to match the little teacups in the picture. Add some glitter to them, of course, and go ahead and add glitter to my pennants. Um, I wasn't getting enough glitter out, so I squeezed it. And then when you do that, you get a lot of glitter out, but it does dry clear, even though it does make your paper look wet. that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed this here are still shots of each of the card like I said this won't be a regular thing it'll be kind of sporadic um, if doodlebug comes out with another collection where I'm compelled to buy a lot of the elements I will do another one of these but um, I thought you guys would enjoy it um, I really need to get over hoarding my supplies and really use them because I enjoy using them so um, let me know what you think and let me know what your favorite is because I always like knowing that. And um, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.